Hey, I'm Andy Robinson. I'm the Potato Extension Agronomist for North Dakota State University and the University of Minnesota. And we're really happy to have you here for field day. Although it's a little bit different this year because of the world pandemic, we're still glad to be able to bring you some information and some insights from the researchers this year that are working really hard on potatoes in North Dakota, Minnesota. So as far as my program goes, uh, we have two research staff specialists, Eric Brandvik and Peter Irie, they're helping make sure all our projects get done. And also have two graduate students. We have Jed Groh, who's working on a chip selection trial. We're looking at some advanced chip selections that Susie Thompson is working on, or has bred. And he's looking at spacing and nitrogen rates on those up in Hoople, North Dakota. And Inise, she's working on a project where we're looking at different nitrogen sources, including turkey compost for russet potato production. So as far as my research goes this summer, we have research located in Perm, Minnesota, Oaks, North Dakota, Inkster, North Dakota, as well as Hoople, North Dakota. We're looking at fertilizers. We have slow release nitrogen trials, slow release ammonium sulfate trials we're doing. We're looking at different placement of these fertilizers in the potatoes. Uh, we also have herbicide work we're doing. We're looking at weed control with products such as Sonolan from Gowan. And we also have projects where we're looking at herbicide injury from some of the plant growth regulator chemistries, such as clopyrrolid and aminopyrrolid, and the carryover that that can have in seed potatoes. And then when we get up north into Hoople, we have our variety trials there, where we have 20 different red advanced selections or varieties and 30 yellow selections or varieties. And these will be harvested, graded, and we'll have the yield data for that. And then we'll also put those into storage as well uh, to look at pressure flattening as well as sprouting and storage. And so typically we like to show those on field day, but we're not going to this year. But what we'll do is we're gonna get creative this winter. We'll have another tater talk field day this winter. Hopefully we'll be able to allow growers to come and look at those varieties in person. And if not, we'll provide pictures and information for you to be able to see those so you can make your decisions for future potato production needs. So that's kind of what's going on in my research world. As far as the extension goes this summer, we've had a really good season so far. We had good planting, we've had good heat, good growth and development, and good rainstorms, especially in the valley. It seems like the potatoes are basically grown under irrigation because we're getting weekly rainfalls and uh, yields are looking good and, and quality's looking pretty good. The heat has caused some problems with the quality. I've been having a lot of issues in late July, early August with second growth on potatoes. We've been seeing a lot of growth cracks, uh, sprouting of some of the less dormant varieties, and um, even tuber malformations going on. And so that's probably something growers are gonna see this, this fall as they get into harvest. Um, and also with the extra moisture we've had this year, it's been ideal for late blight. Our spore traps have been catching spores. We have not identified late blight to this point that this is being recorded, um, but certainly conditions are very favorable. Even today, this day is very humid and, uh, and muggy and we'll probably continue to see spores show up in the spore traps, but continue to be diligent in your field so we don't have storage issues with late blight. And also with that extra moisture too, we've been seeing uh, quite a bit of soft rot as well. And so don't be surprised if you're seeing more soft rot as we go to dig and get things into storage. But we hope that everyone will have a great finish of the season and a good crop and be able to store it well and be able to keep continuing to feed the world. Appreciate your patience with uh, everything going on this year, the ways we're doing things, but let us know if you have any questions or if you have ideas, please reach out to me.